in Matthew 6, but seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. God is perfect. And to become His children, we need to be perfect like Him. God is holy. We need to be holy like Him. For without holiness, we will never enter the kingdom of God. Now, because our Father loved us so much, even His own human body, He sacrificed and He had given for us. If God had given His own self for us, what are the creations of His that He cannot give us? Is there anything more valuable than our Lord Jesus Christ that you can find on heavens and in earth? God already gave us Jesus, the way, the truth, and the life. Nothing you can compare with Him. You cannot say anything from God as long as it is according to His will. And for your own good, it will be given to you. In Proverbs 28, verse 20, verse 28, A faithful man will be richly blessed, but one eager to get rich will not go unpunished. A greedy man is the of decision, but he who trusts in the Lord will prosper. Remember, he who trusts in the Lord will prosper. Proverbs 10, 16, 22. 16 and 22. The wages of the righteous bring them life, but the income of the wicked brings them punishment. The blessing of the Lord brings wealth, and he adds no trouble in it. Proverbs 15, 6. The house of the righteous contains great treasure, but the income of the wicked brings them trouble. This is a very good prayer in Proverbs chapter 30, verse 7 to 9. Two things I ask of you, o Lord, do not refuse me before I die. Keep all sold and lies far from me. Give me neither poverty nor riches, but give me only my daily bread. Otherwise I may have too much and disown you and say, Who is the Lord? Or I may become poor and still, and so dishonor the name of my God. And in verse 15 to 16, So as I may have greed, the leeches to daughters, give, give, they cry. They are three things that never satisfied, for that never say enough. The grave, the barren womb, land, which is never satisfied with water and fire, which never says enough. Compare a religion that you knew, who keep asking money, there are two instances in the Bible when the Israelites gave more than enough to build a temple. They told the people to stop giving. Could you find any congregation that will do that good example? In First John chapter 2, 15 to 17. Do not love the world or anything in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For everything in the world, the cravings of simple men, the lust of his eyes, and the boasting of what is and does comes not from the Father, but from the world, from Satan. The world and its desires pass away. But the man who does the will of God lives forever. In Matthew chapter 4, verse 2 to 4, 8 to 10, and verse 17. The tempter came to him and said, If you are the Son of God, tell these stones to become bread. Jesus answered, It is written, Man, man does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Again, the devil took him to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their splendor. All of this is presently belongs to the devil and his human children. All this I will give you, he said, if you will bow down and worship me. Jesus said to him, Away from me, Satan, for it is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve Him only. We shall not exchange God for anything we will find in this present world. From that time on, Jesus began to preach, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is near. Jesus will call us Satan. If we do not have in mind the things of God, but the things of men, in Matthew 16, verse 23 through 28, Jesus turned and said to Peter, Get behind me, Satan. You are a stumbling block to me. You do not have in mind the things of God, but the things of men. Then Jesus said to his disciples, If anyone would come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever wants to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for me will find it. What good will it be for a man if he gains the whole world, yet forfeits his soul? 
Or what can a man give in exchange for his soul? For the Son of Man is going to come in His Father's glory with His angels. And then He will reward His person according to what He has done. I tell you the truth. Some who are standing here will not taste death before they see the Son of Man coming in His kingdom. Seek first the kingdom of God. God is perfect. We need to be like Father, like Son. When God said first, He meant first, not second or third. He wants us to do everything in a right order, first thing first. The reason people are not receiving blessings from the Lord is because we do not obey God's command or instruction. We do it out of order, in reverse. God said, seek first the kingdom of God. He means exactly like that. First, not second nor last. But that is not what you are doing. You are seeking all the worldly things now. First which is the third and last. When Aaron's two sons use a fire outside instead of the holy fire inside the temple as per God's instruction, right away, God burned them with fire. That's why we need to revere God and fear Him. He is a consuming fire. When a young Israelite gathered wood on Sabbath to be used in burning sacrifice animal in the temple, he should have done it on other days except Sabbath. God told God told the whole congregation to stone him to death outside the camp. But what did other preachers always told you? To give God 10% of your earnings if not you are robbing God. And if you give your tithing, God will make you prosper. Of course, you don't want God to tell you that you are robbing Him and you want to prosper. Surely you will give what they ask of you. The question is, did you prosper or them who's riding in a limousine, flying in a private jet plane? and living in a huge mansion, you or them, they are the one who's robbing you. Besides, their teaching is the complete reversal of what God is actually telling you. To seek first His kingdom. If you disobey God's command, it will be a cause instead of blessing. Here is what Jesus said about them. In John, John 10, verse 1, verse 7 to 18, verse 24 to 30. I tell you the truth. The man who does not enter the ship and by the gate but climbs in by some other way or other religion is a thief and a robber. Therefore Jesus said again, I tell you the truth, I am the gate for the ship. Jesus is the way. All who ever came before me were thieves and robbers, but the ship did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved. He will come in and go out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I come that they may have life and have it to the full. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand is not the shepherd who owns the sheep. So when he sees the wolf coming, he abandons the sheep and runs away. Then the wolf attacks the flock and scatters it. The man runs away because he is a hired hand or he is getting paid and cares nothing for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep and my sheep knows me. Just as the father know me and I know the father and I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that are not of the sheep pen. I must bring them also. They too will listen to my voice and there shall be one flock and one shepherd. Jews and Gentiles became one flock. The reason my father loves me is that I lay down my life only to take it up again. No one takes it from me. But I let it down for my own accord. I have authority to lay it down and authority to take it up again. This command I received from my father. The Jews gathered around him saying, How long will you keep us in suspense? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus answered, I did tell you, but you do not believe. The miracles I do in my father's name speak for me. But you do not believe because you are not my sheep. My sheep listens to my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they shall never never perish. No one can snatch them out of my hand. My Father, who has given them to me, is greater than all. No one can snatch them out of my Father's hand. I and the Father are one. Jesus and the Father, the Spirit Father in heaven, are the same Holy Spirit, one God in heaven. God himself said many times that he is the only living God, the Creator. And there's no one else besides him. I'd rather believe God rather than any man.